Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, I'm going to explain Binks. Binks, I spell his name B-I-N-K-S. Binks is the <laughs> feral cat that I have taken in. And um, I thought maybe I should make a video explaining more about him. Because people are like, I didn't know you had a cat. What are you doing with this cat? How did this come about? So, Binks, the cat. He is probably roughly eight months old. He's not a year old. Um, I started seeing a litter of stray feral kittens probably back in June or July. And that's not super uncommon for here. Um, we have seen different cats, feral cats, wild cats, come kind of wandering through periodically over the years. But I've never really seen kittens. I always saw feral like tomcats, maybe mama cats, but mostly just tomcats. Very elusive. You only see them a few times. You might only see them once, never see them again. Really good at hiding, scared, very unapproachable. So, and they're just wild. And I will say most of the ones I've seen have been large. They are eating good. They must be eating out of all our scrap piles because these are not skinny cats. These have been pretty good sized cats that I've seen over the years. So, Minx is doing something I can hear him. I was down here working this morning, making some earrings in my little jewelry sweatshop here. And I thought maybe I should just do a little video kind of explaining more about him and then maybe get some cute little footage of him dancing and jumping around. I've got some different footage from other times that I've been down here. Um, he loves to sit by the wood stove because we have a wood stove down here, of course, so he loves the heat. Um, so Binks, he was a kitten and that was probably, I mean, maybe June, I guess, probably. And so I kept seeing him and his litter mates, four of them, the two tabby colored cats and two black cats, and they would kind of run around in a group. They stayed together. They were living outside in the woods, very unapproachable. Um, and then eventually they all disappeared except Binks. I stopped seeing all of them, but I, I kept seeing Binks, one little black cat. And he would hang around here at our house and eat out of our scrap pile. So I started throwing scraps out, like better scraps that I thought he would like intentionally where I knew he would see them. And then it kind of turned into <laughs> dad saw him one time and he was kind of pitiful eating bugs. And I just, you know, that really, that pulls at my heart. I'm, I'm a pushover for <laughs> animals. And that made me feel bad that he was eating bugs. And so dad decided maybe we should feed him. So dad put a can of tuna out and he ate it. And then that's kind of where it started. Then I started feeding him and this was all outside. He was not, he wouldn't let you touch him. He wouldn't let you come anywhere near him. He wouldn't let you pet him or anything crazy like that. But I slowly but surely coaxed him and won his trust and got him to um, come into the basement <laughs> because some of these nights it was getting, you know, so now we're moving from June and July on to the winter and it's getting cold. And it started, you know, dropping down into the 30s, down into the 20s at night in the wind. And I was worried about him. And so I finally coached him to come into the basement. And I put out a box with a blanket. I had to put out a box with a blanket on the porch first to try to coax him around. Um, I started feeding him treats, just anything I could do to win his trust. And eventually he let me pet him. And so from then on, he just kind of lives in the basement we will open the door, crack the basement door, and let him go in and out. But for the most part these days, he doesn't even go out. He just stays in here. He has a heating pad. He has um, an entire basement of toys. He has a cat tower. Literally has everything that he needs. I come down here like all... I'm, I'm down here all day anyway, but I come down here multiple times a day, even when I'm not working, to check on him and pet him and give him attention. And so, yeah, I mean... He kind of just got adopted as a feral kitten. Um, I have no idea where any of his litter mates are. I, I never saw him again. I don't know what happened to him. I did continue to see the, a tomcat who, after some research, I think might be part Burmese because he is freaky looking. He's a, a tomcat that I call Mushmouth because his face is kind of scary to look at. But he's a very large cat and uh, very pretty actually very pretty pretty coat but he's just kind of freaky looking um i call him Mushmouth. i think that might be binks's dad possibly i don't know i have seen him a few times but very probably only like four times he hides i did see a mama cat before binks and his litter mates were born who i think was probably binks's mama she was also a tabby cat and she was no small cat either but she was very quiet very secretive 
very elusive. So those are the only, literally the only two cats I've seen here that I could put together that I thought might be Binks' parents. Um, and then after some research, I thought, well, neither one of those cats that I saw are black. How could they be Binks' parents? Well, after a little bit of digging and diving, and I could be wrong, so I'm not going to come on here and say I'm 100% right, but I think I'm on the right track. I think Binks is a Bombay cat because he has short black hair, black fur. Um, he has the yellow coppery eyes. He is so wild. He's very playful. Of course, all kittens are playful, but he has black feet and his nose. Yes, Binks. His nose and his mouth is black. So that's usually the characteristics of a Bombay cat. Um, a Bombay cat, that was, I think, that come along in like, I don't know, the 50s or something, that breed. And the parents of a Bombay cat would be a, a Burmese cat and an American short hair cat. So I'm thinking that Mushmouth, the crazy looking cat I saw is part Burmese because the Burmese cats do kind of have sometimes a flatter face. And then I think um, Binks' mom was a short-haired tabby cat, American short-haired tabby cat. So that's possible that those are his parents um, because two, two of the litter mates that I saw were tabby and two of them were black. Binks does have a white, a little white blaze on his chest and he also has a white blaze on his belly, another characteristic thing of Bombay cats. So I think that's what he is. He's really affectionate he can be really affectionate <laughs> he can also be really crazy and rowdy and all he does all day long is just play and crab walk and all kinds of crazy stuff but anyway that's a little backstory about binks what he is where he come from again he's less than a year old now i own him he is my pet he lives in this basement with me um and i feed him and take care of him and brush him and do all those things um i know i'm gonna get some comments you gotta get him spayed I don't think at this point I could probably catch him and get him in a box and get him to a vet. I mean, I would be a little concerned about that. So that might be something that happens in the future. It might not be, but either way, he is so much better off than what he would have been if he was staying outside on some of these 20 degree snow blowing nights. So anyway, that's, that's Binks for you. Um, I will say I never grew up with cats. I never, ever had cats. We only had dogs. I didn't like cats. I was afraid of them. To be honest, I was actually terrified. Um, and it's funny, Miss Cindy had cats, of course, my grandma who passed away and she always had cats and she loved cats and she knew I did not like cats and she knew that I was afraid of them. So I think it's so funny now that I have a cat. I think from beyond the grave, she'd be laughing saying, see, I told you, you'd come around to my side. Um, Cause it's been a very, very rewarding experience owning Binks. I love this cat so much. It's so precious. It's such a, a sweet little gift that he come into my life at this time. So, and it's also funny that Miss Cindy had a cat who looked a lot like Binks and his name was Robert. Similar age. So that's kind of funny too. So anyway, I'm going to go over here and see what he's doing. Maybe cut to, to a little bit of footage of Binks. And yeah, that is an explanation. We have this sheet over this table. Oh, yep. And Binks loves to play with it. Loves to play with it. What are you doing? Is that you? Oh, is that you? Oh, pew. Yeah. There you are hiding in the shadows, huh? Hiding in the shadows. <laughs> it's so funny. Something that surprises me with cats is literally anything is a game to them. Oh, yeah. You're going to pull that sheet off. Anything is a game. Anything could be played with or enjoyed. It's not, I mean, yeah, you don't even have to buy them toys. They'll just find anything because they're so curious and playful. He's very curious. He's wanting me to come over there so then he can try to do a drive-by, do what I call the drive-by. That's the drive-by. If you walk by and he's hiding, he wants to jump out and scare you, see if he can get a reaction. Binks loves um, this thing that hangs off the treadmill. You got some teeth, Binks. Oh my goodness. What is that? What you think about that? He's very playful. Oh, you like to play on a treadmill, don't you? He actually does love this treadmill. Hey, Binky. What are you doing? What you doing, boy? He's looking at me. What you doing? What you doing? He's just 
gonna lay there, huh? Tired. So you've been playing hard all morning. You might just be wore out, are you? Just bang. So what you doing? What you doing? <laughs> Let me biff you, weighty. Let me biff you, weighty. <laughs> Very curious, huh? See those claws. Bing spends most of his days just hanging out. Chilling out. Being, oh, sweepy, yeah, lazy. Binks. If Binks laying here like this, you can see that white patch of fur he has on his belly. And he actually has one little white patch kind of there. You can kind of see under his chin. Um, so apparently some of the Bombay cats do have that white little tuff. So I've been calling him um, Binks the Bomber. <laughs> the Bombay Bomber. He is very playful. I mean, wow. So, is this the first time all day and all morning that you've sat still and you're looking kind of sleepy? Yeah. Yeah, it is the first time you've sat still, huh? Yeah, I know. Why did you take a nap? Oh, I am. I'm ready. Oh, you guys, you bet we. <laughs> you're such a nut. You're such a crazy person. Boop. Pretty tired, huh? Look at your little low feet. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at him. Look at them little feet. This is literally his most calm time when he is just so sweet and so precious. But there's other times, it's hard to get it on film, where he just absolutely rages. And runs all over this basement and does the zoomies and does what I like to call a drive-by. Yeah, did you do the drive-by? Yeah. Are you wanting to come over here with me? You gonna be nice? Can I see my face in the camera? Hey, bud. Binks did talk me out of my seat. <laughs> I was sitting there, and now he is sitting there because actually that's one of his favorite seats. And if you see why, he likes to bite the buttons down in that seat, and he also likes to pleat his claws. Oh, you just hope you're going to fall out. Yeah, you playing? You playing? Yeah. What you doing?